Hey guys, as you may know, I love Mountain Dew. It's appeared numerous times in my videos, and one of the reasons I love it so much is because of its caffeine content. So today, we're going to try to extract that caffeine out of the Mountain Dew. But first, let's talk about how caffeine works. You see, there's a chemical in your brain called adenosine, and as you go about your day, that chemical builds up, ultimately making you feel tired. However, caffeine is pretty similar to an adenosine molecule. So it can actually bind with those adenosine receptors and block that tired feeling. Caffeine also helps in the production of dopamine, which is the chemical that makes you feel happy. Because of this, caffeine is the most widely used drug worldwide, and coffee is the second most traded commodity after oil. However, the caffeine found inside of Mountain Dew isn't extracted from coffee beans. It's actually made synthetically in a lab. This all started in the 1900s when German Nazi scientists first developed this synthetic caffeine to help keep soldiers awake. And now Mountain Dew alone uses over half a million kilograms of this stuff in just the US alone, even though only 54 milligrams is found in each can. So that being said, let's try to extract some. To do this, we'll use a chemical known as methylene chloride. But this stuff does produce some pretty toxic fumes. So please don't try this at home. Our first step is going to be mixing that methylene chloride with the Mountain Dew. You see, methylene chloride is emissible in water, meaning that they won't mix and go into solution, just like oil and water. And while caffeine is soluble in water, it's a lot more soluble in the methylene chloride. So now we give our toxic concoction a good mix so that caffeine gets dissolved in the methylene chloride. But it's important not to mix the solution too much, as an emulsion can form. You see, the methylene chloride is not dissolvable in the water. But if you mix it a lot, then tiny droplets of the methylene chloride will be dispersed throughout the Mountain Dew. If I mix this jar of water and oil, we can actually see an emulsion form with all the little tiny bubbles. And this is obviously not a good thing to have if you want to separate two substances. So now that I was very careful in mixing, we can separate our methylene chloride from our decaffeinated Mountain Dew and repeat one more time just to get as much caffeine out as possible. So finally, we have our caffeine-filled methylene chloride solution, and all we have to do is evaporate it out on a hot plate, and after a cool time lapse, we have our caffeine. Well, kind of. Unfortunately, caffeine sublimates at 178 degrees Celsius. So that means that by heating it up, it goes directly from a solid into a gas. Luckily, some of that caffeine appeared to condense on the sides of the beaker, but we definitely didn't extract all 54 milligrams. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. And once again, thanks to all my lovely patrons who make these videos possible. Cheers.